Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be going over uh, how to connect the Apple Wireless Bluetooth keyboard to the iPad 2. And my iPad 2 is currently running iOS 5 Beta 1. Um, I got my UDID activated through a Apple developer, and it should function the same way on iOS 4.3.3. The only problem I've had on iOS 5 is my iPad is actually shutting down on its own. It actually did right before I made this video. I had to restart, but um, hopefully it works now. But we're just going to go through and connect this keyboard to the iPad. And that's just my background. That was me grilling on the charcoal grill the other day. Um, it went semi-successfully. And that's just my stuffed Angry Bird that I got in the mail a couple months ago. And he's awesome. So we'll just unlock my iPad here. And we're just going to go straight into settings. And just go in and go to under general. And go to Bluetooth. And have it on. And then make sure your Bluetooth's on. And then... Just hit the power button to make your Bluetooth keyboard, um, a, and there it shows up right there. It says not now discover when it's not paired. So you just click on your Bluetooth keyboard under devices, and it says to enter a pin number to pair it with the iPad. And my pin number is six three six nine three six nine. Then enter, and soon enough it will say that your device is connected and right there yeah it does say connected so if you just go to the home page and you can't really do much here but if you open up like iMessage right there's my hotmail if you want to contact me um, we're just going to go here and type in hey enter the only thing about the Apple keyboard is if you press enter, it goes return instead of like going down one spot. So if you want to send, you got to press shift. And oh, usually that worked on the old firmware on the old on my iPhone, but it sent it right there. And let's we'll go into notes. This is me typing on my iPad keyboard. That was a little while ago. So we'll just go down here. And as you can see, it's very. You may not be able to read it. It says hi, everyone. But it's very responsive, and it's very fast, as you can see. As I'm typing, it's very responsive, very fast. Definitely, um, I plan to use this whenever I'm like typing papers on my iPad if my computer is not handy, or if it's in the middle of doing something else from somewhere, I don't lag my laptop around around with me. So it's definitely going to be useful. Um, I plan to use it in uh, Evernote. We'll just open up Evernote really quick. And if we just go, here, if it would work, I once again, I am running iOS by iOS 5 beta 1, so there we go. So things are a little bit laggy, laggier than usual, and some apps crash. But if I just start typing, that's the Evernote trunk, I don't want that. I'm still trying to figure out how to use Evernote, I just got a couple days ago. And autocorrect doesn't seem to work right now. Hi everyone, this is me typing on Evernote on Apple Keyboard. Subscribe! So that's a nice little message I just wrote there. And um, So I plan to make this use out of my Apple Keyboard a lot. Um, it really looks nice. I know it looks a little off-white because of the lighting I have right in this room. But um, it really looks nice with the white iPad. So I really plan to use this a lot um, on the go, if I'm sitting down to type a paper, even as a replacement for my computer. So if you guys have any more questions about how to get this to work, um, where you can find the Apple keyboard, or any other general questions about videos or anything, uh, just let me know. I plan to make more iOS 5 Beta 1 videos for the iPad in the future. Um, talk about some bugs and some nice features. I know some people are already out there making them, but um, I just figured I might as well throw my hat in the ring. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.